All right, everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five animals that we could release back into the UK to help rewild. So go and make a bev, get yourself comfy. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new around here. And also, if you fancy it, why not consider joining the Patreon? But now, let's talk about rewild in the UK. What's that all about? So as many of you will know, the UK and its wildlife scene is absolutely shocking. Being a nature -y sort of wildlife animal lover like I am, it's sort of hard to get enthusiastic about going for a walk in the woodland to see some cool animals because they're not there. It's not like America where you may encounter some bears, some mountain lions or some wolves. We don't have any of that gnarly stuff. The best the UK can offer is like feral pigeons and grey squirrels and even they're not ours. It's pretty dull. I can't lie. There needs to be something done about it. It can't carry on this way. So here I am to tell you about a few class animals that could maybe rewild the UK and make it better for one reason or another. Now, all of the animals that I'm gonna talk about will have a purpose. I'm not gonna ask for elephants to come back to the UK just because I like them. I mean, it would be class, but it would be carnage at the same time. Chuck a mammoth in the mix, why not? That's not what we're going for here, all right? What we are gonna go for here is one of the best animals that we could get back in this country to help rewild and make it better. And that's that animal is going to be the beaver. These fellas often get referred to as the ecosystem engineers, the givers of life. Now around the 1600s, beavers were actually made extinct here in the UK through hunting for their fur and their anal glands. So that's lovely. And it wasn't until the last decade or so where we decided, you know what? They're actually pretty decent, aren't they? And slowly, beavers are making a comeback. But if you ask me, you should be sticking a beaver on every single stretch of river in this country. The river quality in the UK is some of the worst in Europe, and that could be a direct direct impact of not having beavers on them. In Europe, it's sometimes said that if a river doesn't have a beaver in it, it can't be classed as a clean river. Their dams help slow down the water flow, which prevents flooding further down the line. But not only that, it's shown that these dams almost work like a giant sieve in the water. They catch up all the nasty stuff that the river pushes at it, and out the other side comes the cleaner, clearer water. And with that cleaner, clearer water quality, an abundance of wildlife will come with that too. It's been shown that with the pools that beavers create with their dams, wildlife skyrockets. Also as well, beavers, they eat plants, so there's no fear of them nobbling a few fish. There's none of that going on. They're not interested. And if anything, the better water quality that the beavers provide makes these fish bigger. Beavers provide life, which provides food, which also then provides food for other things. They're a wonderful animal, a giver of life, and I think we should be placing them absolutely everywhere that we can. Now, the next animal that I want to talk about is a right little cutie, and that is going to be the pine martin. I mean, it's a murder machine as well, but just look at that face. Pine martins were nearly eradicated from the entirety of the UK in the 19th and 20th century due to hunting and habitat loss. Now these are still quite rare in the UK today, but the biggest population that you can find is in Scotland. However, there is a reintroduction happening in the Forest of Dean in England. It's only a small one, and while that is good, I say just get them all back. Just chuck them in every bit of forest you can see. Maybe I'll go and find one. Anyway, Pine martins are classed as a meso predator, which means they're in the middle of the pack here, right? They prey on things and they're also preyed upon. They're not an apex predator, although we'll get to one of them soon. They'll generally hunt rabbits, but best of all about the pine martin, they will hunt and they bloody love the gray squirrels, the invasive gray squirrels, might I add. And this is obviously a big thing in the UK because the gray squirrels have pretty much pushed out the red squirrels entirely, especially from England. You can still find them in parts of Scotland. The gray squirrels carry a disease that the red squirrels can't deal with and it just wipes them out. But the Pine Martin reintroduction in the Forest of Dean is showing to have a great impact on the gray squirrel numbers. Pine Martins are radically reducing the gray squirrel population in the Forest of Dean, which maybe in a few years time might even mean that we could get some red squirrels back into the country as well once the Pine Martin and have finished doing their job. Now, if you think of this all over the UK, it would be great to bring pine martins back in their numbers, not just in their tens and twenties, I mean in their hundreds and thousands. That's something I would love to see and more of that would be amazing. Now, I mentioned a minute ago about apex predators. Currently, we don't have your typical apex predator. Right now, we've got something like the fox doing that job and it, it really shouldn't be. The fox should be a meso predator. It should be in between the lines. It should not be an apex predator. And that goes to show you how desolate the UK 
Shantae's wildlife is. The fox is the boss. Now, I think that needs correcting. I think we need an apex predator in this country. And I think this next animal is going to go a long way in helping to achieve that. And that is the lynx. Look at the majesty of the lynx, the apex predator. Lynx are so obviously stunning and they once roamed the UK up until the 6th century until they were hunted to extinction. They live on in Europe, however, and there's about 10,000 of them knocking about. And I think these guys could be the perfect re-addition to the UK wildlife. And I'll give you some reasons as to why. In the UK, we have an overpopulation of deer who constantly graze and are never on the move. The favorite food of the lynx though, is the deer. So putting the lynx back into the population that's got loads of deer in it will force the deer into having to move so they can graze on the move, not just in one area, destroy it, move on to the next one, destroy it. But lynx don't just eat deer, they can eat rabbits and all that sort of other fun stuff as well, but they can also eat the miso predators as well, like the fox. Basically, they're gonna restore a natural hierarchy to the UK's ecosystem and it'll work top down. The problem with lynx though, is people in this country are automatically scared of them. If you show people a lynx in this country, they'll automatically be scared for their pets and for their own well-being, thinking that lynx will attack them or something. Well, that just isn't the case. There are literally zero recorded cases of a lynx, a Eurasian lynx, attacking a human let alone killing them. And with that, there are very little reports to suggest that the lynx will actually attack pets. They don't just come wandering into your garden and think, that's it, I'm having the cat. They much prefer to be out in the wild, away from any humans whatsoever. They don't like human contact. But there's another thing that worries people, and that is livestock. Livestock is a genuine issue that could prevent the lynx coming back sooner rather than later. And that is because lynx, they're impartial to a sheep or three. My counter to this would be to provide guardian dogs. They've had great success in other the countries around the world and no lynx would want to go anywhere near them. As far as releasing lynx into the UK goes, I think you're going to have to start in Scotland first and then Wales and some parts of England next. Okay, and with that said, I'm going to throw two animals at you now, which might not get rewilded right away, but they could stand a chance in the future. They're quite contentious, but I think some areas will thrive from having these. And these are animals that I would love to see back as well, obviously. And first up out of the contentious and fourth on the overall list is going to be the brown bear. Now, hear me out, all right? Bears sound scary, and by all means, they can definitely be scary. They are massive and are a definite threat to humans if they want to be. But like the beaver and some other animals that I'm not gonna mention in this video, they're an ecosystem engineer. How? Might you ask? Well, they too also control deer populations, which is a great start, but not only do they mash up some deer, if they find some dead animals scattered about in the wilderness somewhere, they'll clean that up too. They do a cleaning service, how good is that? But not only that, they eat seeds and berries and all that other fun stuff as well. And that's a good thing as well, because with their movement, they can disperse these seeds in their poo all around the place and they can create new life. So while yes, they do take away some life, they also give it back as well. But as far as the negatives go, humans are gonna be terrified of them. That doesn't really help. And they can attack humans and if they do, doesn't really end very well. But on the brighter side of that, generally brown bears will want to stay away from humans. They're actually quite shy. They don't want to be around humans. They don't like them. Very understandable. And attacks are really quite rare. But ultimately, they do a bit of everything and I think we should get them back. As far as places to release them would be, it's going to have to be the Highlands of Scotland. And now then, we're going to go on to the last animal of this list and another contentious animal. And it's probably the most contentious of this list. And it's also my favorite of the lot, the wolf. I flipping love wolves and if it was down to me they would already be back here with the strictest possible protections on them you want to hurt a wolf death sentence cookie for prime minister now i mentioned earlier that lynx would get deer on the move right they would hunt them they would predate them bears would also do the same thing to deer but wolves oh my goodness me deer would not be allowed to sit still they'd have to be going all over the bloody place. Deer species will not be allowed to stay in one spot for too long, which is great for plant species and it helps them regenerate and regrow. Wolves also hunt quite a lot as well and they consume most of their kill, but they will leave other bits around for scavengers to come along, like the bear or like some birds as well. Wolves are an apex predator, so they're top of the bill, they're the headline act. Imagine the ecotourism with trying to find wolves in the UK. I mean, I'll be on that list, I'll be spending money, like I wanna see wolf now. I just think a lot of places would better benefit from having these animals back. But we're going to have to look at the negative side of this as well. People don't like them. The big bad wolf, they've got a bit of a bad reputation, but it's the same old story really. They might go and have a few sheep and they might take a dog 
or cat. So that's why it's the most contentious on this list and it's probably got the most to do until it's returned to the UK. But ultimately, I do think it will happen in time. And I think the benefits of having the wolf back in the ecosystem will be absolutely unbelievable. But honestly, what I can say about wolves will do it absolutely no justice compared to this video here. If you've never seen this, just go and watch it you'll be amazed. And that sounds like a good place to stop this video so you can go watch that one. This has been five animals to reintroduce into the UK. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you like to see all of these animals back? Do you think it's a bit like Cookie? What, what are you doing? We don't want bears. What do you think? Let me know. Anyway, I've been Cookie. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.